Hey, my name is Monica, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about starting an IV. Starting an IV is, for me, is just another daily activity for being a nurse. You get your supplies. Usually you get your tourniquet, your alcohol prep, your um, 5 or 10 milliliter syringe, and then you get your needle. Needles can vary patient to patient. The bigger the vein, the smaller the gauge needle. Like a 14 gauge is for a big vein. Um... An 18 to 20, 22 or smaller. The bigger the number, the smaller the needle. It's backwards. Which some people have a little hard time realizing that. But once you figure that out, it's not bad. Um, but can every patient, like I said, is different. Um, you also, what your syringe is for is to draw blood once you get your IV access in case you need any labs or anything. Um, there are many reasons to start an IV. Dehydration, heart attacks, people come in, they need um, fluids, you need to get an IV access, you need to draw labs. People, A lot of nurses like to draw labs from their IVs once they start them because it's fresh and it's right there. It's easy, you don't have to, patient doesn't have to be stuck twice, which is, a, which is a good thing to look at when you're thinking about your patient in a lot of ways. The less anxiety you cause your patient, the easier and smoother delivery you're going to have. Informing a patient is my first priority. When you inform your patient of how things are going to go, um, and it get, helps it go smoothly. The steps of starting it, telling them, you know, everything you're going to do. And, you know, don't lie. If it's going to hurt, it's going to hurt. Explain to them that. Um, sometimes the veins, once you tie your tourniquet off, and they're really big and they look, we as we say, juicy. Those are usually the hardest veins because they roll a lot and you have to kind of chase them down and get them stable to catch them. So that's just informing your patient about why it's, why you're starting an IV, why um, things are, what's going to happen once you get the IV and, you know, drawing blood and everything. Having, like I said, having a calm patient is makes for a really, really smooth delivery. I love to start an IV. It can be a challenge or it can be really easy. Um, my least favorite starting an IV is probably on a child, which is nobody's favorite. Um, number one, they're challenging because they're so little and so tiny and they're squirming everywhere. Um, so that's just a little bit about IVs. Once you get your IV in place, the, you're, you need to tape it down. Taping it down is the biggest thing.